Hello everyone, it's Sarah here again, and I'm bringing to you the finished spun yarn from that spooky Halloween fiber I dyed up with in the last week or two. So, this is the finished product, and it was spun from 75% Superwash Merino and 25% Nylon Blend. I purchased this fiber from Knit Picks back around my birthday earlier this year. And I finally got around to dyeing it within the last couple weeks. So this finished fiber created a bulky weight, maybe it's super bulky, but definitely a bulky weight yarn. And I calculated, if I remember correctly, it's about 66 yards. In addition to this spun yarn, I added these skull charms to make it more festive for the Halloween holiday. And I'm going to intercut some, show you some footage of how I was able to do that. Simply done. All I did was detach the fiber that I was spitting from my fiber supply, held onto my fiber, held onto my wheel with my feet <laughs> so the wheel wouldn't spin for me. I took a crochet hook and with the charm on the crochet hook, I pulled through the spun yarn and then one more, and if you're a crocheter, you're familiar with this term, I yarn, I yarned over a loop. Yarn over? I pulled through the, the loop, the extra bit of yarn, locking it into place as if you were to do a chain, sti chain stitch for crochet. And that locks the little charms or beads or sequence, which I have a video coming soon, into place so that you can just leave your yarn as a single as it is if you'd like to. Or you can do like I did here and did a three ply. And I absolutely had no problem working with these charms. Despite how heavy they might have been, my wheel just ate them right up. No big deal. So about this um, particular fiber content, being that it's so soft as it is, I don't know, I would definitely not consider this for say socks, but it would be lovely for say hats, mittens, a scarf, a wrap, anything above the upper body. I would not make anything that would like, that would have heavy abrasion with this because it has a, a very nice halo to it. And it's super squishy and soft. So, anyway, if y'all have been really liking me, my videos and you've already subscribed, I really do thank you. Like, really do thank you. And if you want to know more of um, when these videos go live, I do recommend subscribing. Or if you've already subscribed, go ahead and hit that notification bell. And turn on notifications to see if you want relevant videos or all videos per se whenever I upload them. I usually upload them during the day if it's one of the longer type form videos and whichever day they might go on I they'll be 10 a.m. posted around 10 a.m. Central Standard Time and sometimes the YouTube shorts which have been driving a lot of traffic lately those those go sometime live during the day usually and everything. So Thank you again if you've subscribed, and if you're considering, it's definitely easy. Just click the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!